Morning, Steve here in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we got prices up a little bit. It is Thursday. It is export sales day, and there's a tendency for the market to firm up in front of the numbers. We also had Yellen uh, speaking today, and we'll see what she says about the chances of interest rates going up and when they might go up. Her earlier comment suggests that they're getting close to start raising interest rates. Um, as far as specifics are concerned, export sales, maybe wheat 500,000 tons, corn a little bit below a million tons, beans maybe a little bit above a million tons. China continues to be a buyer of U.S. beans and Brazil beans. Some people link that to the Trump factor, maybe adding some beans uh, in front of him taking office. Uh, it could be having to do with the crush margins are very positive right now. And it could also have to do with some buying in front of their New Year's. They, they tend to shut down for two or three weeks in their New Year's. So all this uh, could be normal buying. Some people, though, think that with Brazil planting their crops early and with Brazil's crop conditions favorable, the window for our new sales may be closing as the Brazilian harvest may be earlier this year than normal. So let's have to kind of watch that pretty closely. We will get a National Weather Service 30-day outlook today. We'll see what it says, but most people think we'll see more of the same. Normal to above temps and normal to low precept for much of the Midwest. We'll see if that has any impact on the winter wheat crop conditions, which are drier uh, than normal. So again, we're in this trading range. I don't think we need to trade over $10 beans. But so far, we're unable to trade below the 980 area in the jam because of this strong demand. Corn probably a 340, 350, 352 range. Wheat 411 to 428 on the March contracts. The um, interesting that we are starting to see some preliminary discussion about the new farm bill under the new administration. There is some talk that they'll go in and, and may reduce regulations and maybe try to come up with some type of programs to reflect the tight row crop margins that we have in the United States. They could increase the budget for the CRP. And uh, they also might do something as adjustments to revenue crop support programs like crop insurance. So quite a change from the conservation program that we currently have in uh, the mix. So anyway, yesterday's funds are net sellers of everything. Today, they'll probably be net buyers. We'll see what Yellen has to say. We'll see what the uh, export sales have to say in the long-range U.S. weather forecast. But right now, you still have people digging. Beans are overpriced. Corn and wheat in a trading range. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Invest Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.